put together by our deacon, Deacon Jerry Luongo, who because of uh, some health concerns and being cautious, was unable to be here for the taping today. And today, the church celebrates the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a dogma wherein we believe that Mary was preserved, immune from all stain of original sin through the privilege of Almighty God and by the virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race. Our liturgy for today most fittingly presents the fall in Genesis and the Annunciation in Luke's Gospel as bookend events. Just as Christ is sometimes called the new Adam, the archetype and model for filial obedience to the Father, so too is Mary referred to as the new Eve, the model for all who say yes to God. They are bookend events because Eve's lapse of trust in God has been transformed through Mary's perfect trust in God. A trust put to the test from the Annunciation to the foot of the cross and found to be pure. Doesn't it make sense then that our Father in Heaven who chose Mary before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before Him in love should endow her with graces beyond compare at the very moment of her conception. Our Blessed Mother is sometimes called as well the Ark of the New Covenant. Now, as we recall, the original Ark was the ship of safety, which carried Noah and his family through the waters of the Great Flood, a temporal eradication of sin and passage to a new beginning. Later in salvation history, the Ark of the Covenant was that vessel which contained the urn of manna, the staff of Aaron that sprouted, and, and the stone tablets of the law, the Ten Commandments, which would set forth the commandments for mankind to follow so as to live righteously before God. But humanity, incapable of self-amendment, was in need of a savior. Thus, Mary, the Ark of the New Covenant, her womb, the vessel for the Christ child, the Savior through whom come the new and definitive covenant between God and man. Isn't it fitting that God would adorn Mary with grace and purity so that she would be a fitting Ark for so precious a gift to God's creation? This liturgical year is called the Year of Grace as we meditate upon the mystery of the Immaculate Conception this day, it is a good opportunity to better understand how grace works. You see, grace is supernatural help given by God in love from on high and towards an end. But in order for it to achieve the end for which it is sent, we must, like Mary, welcome it and embrace it, placing our full trust in the one from whom it comes. Our lives will always be a story of grace and cooperation with grace. As so, let us ask our Mother in Heaven to offer her prayers for us, that we, like her, may give ourselves completely in faith and trust to our God as we pray Hail Mary, full of grace, pray for us sinners, now 